Hello, hello! Welcome back to our channel, Life of Zeons. If you haven't been here before, my name is Zisha. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. Now, we've had a few comments recently to ask us to show a grocery haul. Well, we have done a few shopping grocery haul videos, but I don't think we've shown the products that we've actually picked up. So, uh, I thought today is the day. I am just reversing, of course, out of our driveway. Well, somewhat driveway. Bit of a long story, but we'll call it a driveway for now. The park in the apartment block. Um, so I'm off to Woolworths. I do have to pick Bronson up from work in about an hour, an hour's time. So I thought that it would be a good opportunity to quickly pop out. I've had the car today because I had an appointment to go to earlier on. And honestly, guys, <laughs> I'm having to reverse again <laughs> to get out of this blooming car park area. I haven't, even, I haven't even left our property yet, like seriously. Okay, now we're driving forward and we're on our way. So yes, I'm on my way to Woolworths. We have already done a bit of a food shop during the weekend and today is Tuesday, but we solely focused on food and meal planning. We didn't actually realize that there was so many other things that we actually needed. We're in desperate need of milk, which I did think of when I was there, but I thought we had tons and we actually don't. Um, secondly, washing powder, cleaning materials, mouthwash, all the things that like aren't food. So I guess it's going to be a bit of a cleaning supplies grocery shop. So uh, yeah, come along. I am going to have to turn the camera off now, of course, because I'm just about out onto the proper road instead of just our private road. I will see you guys at Woolworths. And just like that, I have arrived at the Woolworths car park now. I have to show you the amazing feature of our car. A few of you will know we've had our car for like, well, okay, we got it in May and it's now October. So May, June, July, August, September, October, five months. And look at the 360 degree camera. It helps with my parking so much. These lines assist so much. These lines assist so much. It is so good. There's also other features like looking at the side, which you can use as well. To be honest, I don't often use that feature, but if you do need to see the lines, look how good that is. And then that's behind as well. So good. Absolutely love it. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here for a grocery shop. So let's pop upstairs. This is the underground car park. Well, it's actually not underground. It's like ground level. And then Woolworths is built upper level because obviously there's natural light, right? Anyway, let's go. that we only really need cleaning products. I've come right to the cleaning product aisle because this is where most of the items I need are. I'm actually extremely lucky because I have managed to pick up the washing powder we use for half price. And we are completely out. I usually try and stock up when it's half price because it's usually $22, which is a complete rip off. So this is good. Oh, mind you, I've never seen this one. It doesn't tell me how much it is per kg though, which is really annoying. I'm gonna have to get my calculator out to figure that out. Okay, so I worked it out to be about $6.50 per kilo, which makes this one still cheaper at, uh, where did I see it? $5.50 per kilo. So I'm going to stock up on this, especially while it's half price. I 
also think it's about time for the washing machine to have a wash. This is on special as well, so I'll pick this one up. I usually get this one, but I don't have a front loader anymore. So I added this to my trolley, but I don't think it's the right thing. I just had a read of the back of the other one on the shelf here, and you add it in while you're doing your washing. This is like separate without doing your washing, but all of these have pictures of front loaders, so I'm gonna have to give that one a miss. I'm now heading to the cosmetic beauty soap and shampoo aisle and it's so exciting to see all the Christmas goodies, all the advent calendars, so tempting. It's a bit busy in here than I was expecting. There's quite a few people around. I've picked up my goods from the health and beauty aisle. Now I just need milk and some electrolytes and then we're out of here. Now the magic of keyless entry to open the boot. The keys are somewhere in the bottom of my handbag, God knows where. But look at that magic, so good. If only all the stuff in here could magically disappear as well, right? I'll actually take my mask off because I don't need that anymore now that I'm outside. I just need to fit these three bags in. It's funny, I went to the supermarket, the only somewhat food item I purchased was milk. Now this is actually a tent that we purchased for the beach and we figured we would just leave it in the car because the only time we'll ever need it is when we go to the beach but it actually takes up quite a lot of room. I don't even know if I'm going to fit the groceries in here. Alright, so the groceries are in the boot and the one thing that really disappoints me about this car is it's amazing with the keyless entry to open the boot, well better turn that off, but you have to pull the boot back down, there's no push to close which I'm so devastated about and I love the idea of having a push to close so much. The other night I actually had a dream that this car did it, but we just didn't know and Bronson and I discovered the push, not push to start, oh my God, now I'm getting all my, all my pushes confused. Push to close. I had a dream that our car actually did that. So, you know, wishful thinking, dreams are free. <laughs> but anyway, I have got to race to pick up Bronson now. I will catch you guys up on all the goodies that I purchased once we're home. It might be dark by the time we get home, but once I've laid it all out to show you, I'll show you regardless, so talk soon. Bronson and I have made it home. I was 10 to 15 minutes late picking him up because the supermarket took longer than I expected. But anyhow, I have ended up spending, as you may have seen when I was at the checkout, uh, $71.84. And the thing that I am most happy about is I saved $46.85. Is that gonna focus? Is that focusing? Can we see it? Can we see it? Maybe, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> so I didn't get all that many items, to be honest. I got 13 items in total, and as I mentioned, it was basically to stock up on all of our cleaning supplies because we've just run out of like essentials like washing powder and things. I also wanted to pick up electrolytes, but to my surprise, the supermarket 
didn't actually stock electrolytes. So I went to the health foods like vitamins aisle. They had the boosts, all the other vitamins you could think of, but no electrolytes. So I don't know if I was looking in the wrong spot or if I just need to go to the chemist for that. But because I was in a rush, I just left it and uh, yeah, went to Zoom and pick up Bronson. Um, but yeah, they're still on my to get list. But apart from that, I got everything else on my list and a couple of extra things because I saw that they were on sale and if things are on sale, I just pick them up. Otherwise, next week, you end up paying full price when you need them. So I'll show you everything that I got. So to begin with, I will not remember all the prices of all of these things, but if you were interested to know how much I paid for each and every item, that is the total rundown of everything that I purchased. Uh, I think most things were on special, if not everything. I don't even know how you tell. Oh yeah, okay, so the thing with a little arrow next to it is the promotion promotional price. Hence why I ended up saving $46.85. I always try and save as much as possible. So the first item is milk. We ran out this morning, so I definitely needed to pick that up. And the other thing that was a major on the list was the washing powder, which I'll show you in a few moments. I picked up some head and shoulders because I found that my scalp is extra dry at the moment. They didn't have conditioner. They did have conditioner, but not in the apple scent, so I just went for the shampoo. The other conditioner that they had was coconut, but I just didn't really want the coconut one. So I'll just go with the shampoo to begin with, and then just use my ordinary conditioner. This is the one that goes on the scalp anyway, so I think this will be more than enough. Now, unpopular opinion, neither Bronson or I actually like the Method rhubarb scent. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? So I've gone for the Strike Multi-Purpose Cleaner Antibacterial. I do like the other one that um, Method do. I can't even remember what flavor it is. It is in the pink bottle with the pink solution, but it doesn't actually have antibacterial on it. It just says Multi-Purpose Cleaner. So then I worry that it's not like disinfecting things and it's just like a spray that smells good. So that's why I didn't go for that, but I do also like the pink version of the method. It's just the rhubarb. I was so excited to see it on the shelves because people in the UK talk about it non-stop, saying how it smells amazing. Then we finally got it here in Australia and I smelt it and I was like, wow such a disappointment for me because I do not like the smell of it and neither does Bronson. So we won't be buying that one again and we're almost finished the bottle that we purchased. So hence why I bought another one. We also needed some toilet duck. So I only liked certain ones of this. If I go for anything with a citrusy smell, a sea breeze smell, any kind of scent, my asthma flares up. I mean, bleach also isn't great for my asthma, but if I can in, like avoid like a very fragrant smell, I always do. So I just kind of get like the very neutral, plain bleach smell. We desperately needed some shower gel. We used the last of our shower gel this morning. We had to get some supplies from our travel kit actually, and now those are used up. So I ended up going for this rose scented one. Um, it smelled quite nice when I was in the supermarket. This was on discount too, which is great. We also needed some mouthwash. I never see this on discount, but it's our favorite one. We've tried so, so many, but this is the only one that we like. So I always end up paying $6 for this. The day that I see it on discount, I am seriously gonna stock up because I never see it on discount. <laughs> I also got some Pixters. I haven't run out of these yet. I've still got some in the cupboard. I use this instead of floss, um, but they were on special. So I just picked them up so I didn't have to pay full price when I do run out. Bronson and I also really like this toothpaste. We do swap our toothpastes like every time we get a toothpaste, but we enjoyed this one the last time we had it. It was on special. So I just picked it up for when we run out. I need wool and delicates wash for my work uniform. I also use this to wash our masks as well. My masks are made from silk, so this is what I use to hand wash those. And I do my uniform in the washing machine, but that's the one that I use for that. 
The rest of our washing, I use the uh, Tack Plus Eliminator. These are usually $22, as I said in the supermarket. And I am so lucky they happen to be at half price on the day that we ran out. Otherwise, I would have been caught paying full price. Mind you, when we do run out, and if it's not on sale, I usually just compromise for something that's cheaper. <clears throat> Excuse me until I see it on sale again. But because it was on sale, I usually buy two when they're on sale, just so I have them. But this time, because we ran out, I was like, no, nah, I'm just buying three. I'm stocking up while I can. So $33 of all of this was actually just spent on that. So yeah, crazy. Um, but at least we're all stocked up. I realized that I didn't add to my list, which I'm so annoyed about with some Drano. I really want to pick up some Drano because I just feel like our bathroom in particular just needs a little bit of a once over. Um, yeah, just to kind of, you know, clear it out, make sure the smell doesn't get out of hand and things like that. And the other thing that I'm surprised about is we don't have unstoppables here. I thought we would have had Unstoppables by now because I see them all the time on the UK YouTubers that I follow. And have, have I seen them on Australian YouTubers as well? Maybe GC has them. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask her. Anyway, if anyone knows where I can get Unstoppables in Australia, please let me know because I am dying to try them. I've been watching so many Clean With Me videos from the UK YouTubers that I watch. They're all using Unstoppables and I need them in my life. I thought Woolworths would have them, but they didn't. So that is... One of two things I didn't get on my list was the Unstoppables and the Hydrolytes. But apart from that, I purchased everything. And to my disappointment, my local Woolworths has run out of their Legos, which I'm so sad about. If you know, you know. I did actually start a little collection of the Legos, which is so cute. Um, yeah, they're adorable. I should show you instead of just talking about it. I'll, I'll get them so you can see. So I'm actually just storing them in this little Tupperware container. But this is my collection and I was hoping to add to my collection today, but they were completely out. So I've got a few little trolleys. I mean, how cute are these? They're completely adorable. So I'll show you the rest of the collection. I think it's so cute, honestly. I mean, do I need this in my life? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, I also got this free fruit for kids. So basically you just get given like these little kits and you like put all the stickers on and stuff like once again if you know you know but this is what our local supermarket is doing at the moment. I got a little bench seat for customers to sit on which is so cute and I've got this thing here. It's not meant to have those toothpaste sitting on top of it. I just put them on top um, just because basically but you've got broccoli in there and then little strawberries. And I've got three toothpastes in total. I also got this shelf. So it's got toilet paper, dog treats, some cold power and finish tablets. So that's just a little shelf. And then I've got all sorts of little goodies in here. I've got lots of double ups. I think the cutest thing is the little avocado. Like, how cute is that? That's adorable. I've got the broccoli, apple, carrot, and banana. A couple of loaves of bread. Um, head and shoulders. All of those goodies. So, yeah. That's basically my very little collection from the Legos. And I don't know if my local supermarket, like my local Woolworths, will get them back. Or if that's that. Um, but, yeah. So super cute. But that's that, guys. That wraps up my come and shop with me grocery edition for cleaning products. I do hope you enjoyed. I know this is such a random video, but people have been wanting to see grocery hauls. We've had a couple of comments recently in the comment box. So I thought, why not? I need to go to the supermarket anyways. Today was the perfect day because I had the car. 
Bronson didn't take it to work with him. I had to drop him off and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, today was the perfect day. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on. That way you will be updated each and every time we upload a video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye.